Mouth taping, does it work? That's my favorite question. It's almost like we are admitting that there's a problem, but it's so simple to fix by just shutting the mouth. The fact is, people that only recommend mouth taping, they don't quite uncomprehend how the chemistry of the breathing work. Breathing, ventilation, and respirations are two different events. By shutting the way that the breath is going into your body from the mouth, if we haven't addressed the neurology and biochemistry that controls the breath, gases that control the pH, CO2, O2 gas exchange, that's the reason why you're mouth breathing. Some people are sympathetic breathers. They're obligatory mouth breathers. It's not that their nose doesn't function. It's because their state of mind isn't sympathetic, and that's why they're panic breathing. Can we just shut their mouth? No, because the state of mind requires them to breathe that way. To understand why you're breathing dysfunctionally, we have to address the root cause of it, and it's not always the same thing. Does everyone benefit from mouth taping? No. Does anyone benefit from mouth taping? Probably some, but it does not address the root cause. It is an adjunct in my hand, and patients have to be diagnosed properly to make certain that they have the proper chemistry addressed, they have the proper orthopedics neurology addressed, and more importantly, the structure of their nose and tongue posture allows them to tape their mouth. I don't personally recommend mouth taping for everyone. It's an adjunct that I use for retraining the breathing, but no. I don't believe just taping your mouth is going to make you a nose breather.